Hey guys, Mo here, and today we are taking a look at how to install Elementary OS on the Raspberry Pi. Elementary OS is an Ubuntu Linux based distribution that prides itself on being open, privacy focused, and fast. It's got one of the best desktop environments of any Linux distribution available, and so it's absolutely phenomenal for anyone who is switching from Windows or Mac OS to Linux. And in general, it's just one of the better Linux distributions to use for a more traditional desktop experience. It's been available for a while now for laptops and desktops, but Elementary released a Raspberry Pi image and so I'm pretty excited to take Elementary OS for a spin on my Raspberry Pi 4. Notably, it is part of the Early Access program, and so you will need to be a supporter or sponsor in order to actually get access to it. But it's totally worth it. I am on the $10 a month plan, and... Uh, I'm just really excited to be able to support Elementary OS. I'm a huge fan of what they do and would love to see their continued success. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at installing Elementary on the Pi. So first up, what you're going to need is the actual Raspberry Pi for compatible elementary OS image. And like I mentioned, it is an experimental build, so performance will kind of vary. But once you have sponsored or backed elementary in some way, I was able to do this through GitHub, you'll have access to the early builds. So go ahead, get logged in and then go ahead and download that Raspberry Pi 4 image. It is an image.xz, so depending on how you are actually mounting this to a micro SD card, there's a chance you might need to decompress it first. Okay, so I've now got elementary OS for the Raspberry Pi downloaded. So what you'll need to do is go ahead and mount that image to a micro SD card using some sort of program. I'm going to use Etcher. I think it's one of the best image mounting programs available. So go ahead and fire up Etcher and then load up your Raspberry Pi elementary OS image and mount it to a micro SD card. And now in Etcher or your preferred image mounting software, go ahead and select your elementary OS Raspberry Pi image. So that's in my downloads directory. So just navigate to wherever you have that image file saved and make sure it's selected. Then make sure that you have your correct boot medium selected. In this case, I'm using a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Since the elementary image is just shy of nine gigs, you will need at least a 16 gigabyte micro SD card, although bigger is always better. So make sure that's selected. And then when everything is properly configured, go ahead and hit flash.
And one of the first things that you'll need to do when setting up elementary OS on the Raspberry Pi is go ahead and select your preferred language. Select your keyboard layout. And now you'll need to go ahead and create an account. And here we are in elementary OS running on the Raspberry Pi 4. And I gotta say, right out of the gate, I'm really impressed with this operating system. What you'll notice is that it's a very familiar user interface, whether you've used any sort of operating system like Linux, or even if you're coming from Windows or Mac OS, it's just very intuitive and looks absolutely gorgeous. And even though this is engineered to be super user friendly and a desktop operating system that you can use basically out of the box with very few tweaks, one of the things that I really like about elementary is just how customizable it is. You can really tailor the look and feel of the desktop environment completely to your liking. One of the first things that you'll want to do is go ahead and get connected to the internet. So just go over here to networks, select your wireless network, and then enter your password. And now we're connected to the internet, so we can go ahead and begin using the internet, browsing the web, or installing apps. So there are a few different apps that come pre-installed. There's a great multitasking view. You've got a web browser. You've got an email client. You've got a little task manager here, a calendar a music player, a video player, a photo viewer. You can mess with your system settings and there's a really great app center as well. So let's just go ahead and fire up a web browser. And as you can see here, I've got a web browser open and I gotta say, I'm really pleased with how elementary OS operates just as a basic desktop OS for 
things just like web browsing and general office productivity, the experience is really snappy. It loads web pages pretty quickly. And elementary is absolutely perfect just for browsing the web and even doing some writing or editing, whether you're using a content management system like WordPress, or if you're using local apps like LibreOffice and OpenOffice for office productivity. Well, the Raspberry Pi is great for playing back music and videos locally and even streaming some stuff. Oftentimes it can't handle YouTube and other streaming sites in a browser super well, but let's go ahead and give it a test on elementary. And as you can see there, full screening, a 1080p YouTube video on the Raspberry Pi didn't work super well, but that's not a fault of elementary OS at all. That's just the Raspberry Pi simply can't handle full screen 1080p YouTube videos at the moment. One of the things I really like about elementary OS is its app center. So this is pretty similar, you'll notice, to something like the Ubuntu Software Center. And you can just fire this up, and there are a bunch of different apps organized into various categories, such as accessories, audio, games, media production, and office. And then what you can do is go ahead and browse apps that fall into those categories and easily install them. And of course you can fire up a command line and go ahead and install applications that way. But what's really nice about this is it makes it super simple for newcomers to go ahead and get started with a Linux distribution on the Raspberry Pi. Overall, I just really like the simplicity that elementary OS gives you. But in addition to being so user-friendly, it's also really customizable and has a lot of different features that are absolutely perfect for productivity. So one thing that I really like is there is actually a do not disturb mode that you can turn on, which will mute notifications. And it's got some pretty cool stuff, like 
a multitasking view that lets you organize different desktops and can have different workspaces. There's even a picture in picture mode so that you can, for instance, have a terminal window going while you're watching a movie or browsing the web. So you can maybe stay entertained while you are doing work or you can do the opposite. You can monitor some work while you are kicking back and watching a movie or something like that. So that's about it. This is Elementary OS on the Raspberry Pi. And I gotta say, I'm incredibly happy with this desktop operating system and I'm excited to see its continued development. If you haven't tried out Elementary, I highly recommend giving it a go, whether it's on the Raspberry Pi or whether it's on a desktop or a laptop. While the Software Center is super easy to use, you also have access to the command line. And so this gives you full functionality of the command line and operates as it would on any other Linux distribution. So overall, I think this is a really good desktop distribution for a variety of users. If you are new to Linux, Elementary makes it really easy to go ahead and get started. And it's a great choice for all sorts of users. So overall, I think Elementary is a really good desktop distribution for a variety of users. If you are new to Linux and you're switching from Windows or Mac OS, this is a fantastic choice that makes getting started incredibly simple and painless. If you are a Linux enthusiast, I think you're still going to be really pleased with this desktop operating system and just how polished it is. It is easily one of the best looking Linux distributions available. And I like the mix of simplicity as well as customization. You can go ahead and use the command line. You can completely tweak the aesthetics of elementary and change the color scheme. Or you can just stick to mostly pre-installed apps and you can use the App Center. Ultimately, I'm really excited to see Elementary on the Raspberry Pi and I'm really keen to see its continued development. So if you haven't tried out Elementary OS, then I highly recommend doing so, whether it's on the Raspberry Pi or another device like a laptop or a desktop. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to give your life a tech up.